It's been about a week since I sent out the operation scale supply video, and I want to clarify one point about ecosystem benefits and biodiversity credits. So today there is a market for biodiversity credits. The World Economic Forum pegged it at $8 million per year last year. So that's much, much smaller than carbon removal. There's also ecosystem benefits, uh, things like degraded soils, uh, restoring reefs, uh, ocean health. As I spoke about last week, there's been 135 startup companies that have graduated from Air Miner's Accelerator, and we need them all to succeed, and we need even more new companies to succeed to hit the 2030 targets and beyond. I'm seeing some get stuck, and they're wondering about how to prioritize these benefits, ecosystem benefits, biodiversity benefits, alongside carbon removal. I'm also seeing similar questions from investors and philanthropists. So here's what's likely to happen if we go after both opportunities. Let's say you're a startup. From now till 2030, you prove out you can remove some carbon and you prove out there is some ecosystem benefit. But at the same time, in parallel, pathways like direct air capture are going all out on proving the carbon benefit. They're iterating on the carbon benefit, the specificity, the economics are more clearly understood, even if they're more expensive. So 2030 arrives, policymakers and governments, they're going to choose the proven pathways to dial up, to invest hundreds of billions of dollars in. And they're going to go with a lot more direct air capture than you might want. It's predictable, it's safe, and everybody know it work, knows it works, even, even if it's more expensive. That's a world where through 2050, the prices for carbon removal rate high and the processes are industrial and where oceans and biochars and, and soils are not really on the menu. So here's what's possible if we take a different approach. We go all out on the greenhouse gas removal game from now till 2030. 2030 comes, policymakers and governments invest in all of these pathways to really then start dialing in the scale and dialing in the value of ecosystem benefits and biodiversity benefits, really optimizing the pricing and the economics. That's a world where the ocean is positioned to be the biggest pathway for greenhouse gas removal, where soils and biochar get the green light to billion ton scale. But that only happens if those pathways get on the playing field for 2030. So my question to you is what doors open up for you with this opportunity? How does your approach change if you, if you knew you could just go all out on carbon removal, if you just really went for it? And this could be at your startup or your investment fund or your philanthropy. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you are like, who is this guy, what is Air Miners? I wanna let you know, Air Miners is a accelerator and community for everybody in the world working on reversing climate change. We have an accelerator program uh, where we've had 135 startup companies raise $100 million uh, in addition to selling thousands of tons of carbon removal credits, of course, we have an incredible community. We have an event series. We have educational programs. So check out Ear Miners if, that's, uh, if it's new for you.